dingo. The dingo, Canis familiaris, Canis familiaris dingo, Canis dingo, or Canis lupus dingo, is a dog found in Australia. Its taxonomic classification is debated. It is a medium-sized canine that possesses a lean, hardy body adapted for speed, agility, and stamina. The dingo's three main coat colorations are light ginger or tan, black and tan, or creamy white. The skull is wedge-shaped and appears large in proportion to the body. The earliest known dingo fossil, found in Western Australia, dates to 3,450 years ago, which led to the presumption that dingoes came to Australia with seafarers before that time, possibly from southwest Sulawesi in modern-day Indonesia. Dingo morphology has not changed over the past 3,500 years, this suggests that no artificial selection has been applied over this period. The dingo is closely related to the New Guinea singing dog, their lineage split early from the lineage that led to today's domestic dogs, and can be traced back through the Malay archipelago to Asia. A recent genetic study shows that the lineage of those dingoes found today in the northwestern part of the Australian continent split from the lineage of the New Guinea singing dog and southeastern dingo 6300 BC, followed by a split between the New Guinea singing dog lineage from the southeastern dingo lineage 5800 BC. The study proposes that two dingo migrations occurred when sea levels were lower and Australia and New Guinea formed one landmass named Sahel that existed until 6,500 to 8,000 years ago. The dingo's habitat covers most of Australia, but they are absent in the southeast and Tasmania, and an area in the southwest. As Australia's largest extant terrestrial predator, dingoes prey on mammals up to the size of the large red kangaroo, in addition to birds, reptiles, fish, crabs, frogs, insects, and seeds. The dingo's competitors include the native quoll, the introduced European red fox and the feral cat. A dingo pack usually consists of a mated pair, their offspring from the current year, and sometimes offspring from the previous year. The first British colonists who settled at Port Jackson in 1788 recorded dingoes living with indigenous Australians, and later at Melville Island in 1818, and the Lower Darling and Murray Rivers in 1862, indicating that dingoes were under some form of domestication by Aboriginal Australians. When livestock farming began expanding across Australia in the early 19th century, dingoes began preying on sheep and cattle. Numerous population control measures have been implemented since then, with only limited success. The dingo is recognised as a native animal under the laws of all Australian jurisdictions. The dingo plays a prominent role in the Dreamtime stories of Indigenous Australians, however, it rarely appears depicted in their cave paintings when compared with the extinct thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian wolf or Tasmanian tiger. Description the dingo is a medium-sized canid with a lean, hardy body that is adapted for speed, agility, and stamina. The head is the widest part of the body, wedge-shaped, and large in proportion to the body. Captive dingoes are longer and heavier than wild dingoes, as they have access to better food and veterinary care. The average wild dingo male weighs 15.8 kg and the female 14.1 kg, compared with the captive male 18.9 kg and the female 16.2 kg. The average wild dingo male length is 125 cm and the female 122 cm, compared with the captive male 136 cm and the female 133 cm. The average wild dingo male stands at the shoulder height of 59 cm and the female 56 cm, compared with the captive male 56 cm and the female 53 cm. Dingoes rarely carry excess fat and the wild ones display exposed ribs. Dingoes from northern and northwestern Australia are often larger than those found in central and southern Australia. Compared with the dog, the dingo is able to rotate its wrists and can turn doorknobs or raise latches in order to escape confinement. Dingo shoulder joints are unusually flexible, and they can climb fences, cliffs, trees, and rocks. These adaptations help dingoes climbing in difficult terrain, where they prefer high vantage points. A similar adaptation can be found in the Norwegian Lunderhund, which was developed on isolated Norwegian islands to hunt in cliff and rocky areas. Wolves do not have this ability. Early studies identified the skull as being more like that of the golden jackal than it is to the wolf or coyote. One study proposes that compared with the skull of the dog, the dingo possesses a longer muzzle, longer carnassial teeth, longer and more slender canine teeth, larger auditory bullae, a flatter cranium with a larger sagittal crest, and larger nuchal lines. 
In 2014, a study was conducted on pre-20th century dingo specimens that are unlikely to have been influenced by later hybridization. The dingo skull was found to differ relative to the domestic dog by its larger palatal width, longer rostrum, shorter skull height, and wider sagittal crest. However, this was rebutted with the figures falling within the wider range of the domestic dog and that each dog breed differs from the others in skull measurements. Compared to the wolf, the dingo possesses a pedomorphic cranium similar to domestic dogs. However, the dingo has a larger brain size compared to dogs of the same body weight, with the dingo being more comparable with the wolf than dogs are. In this respect, the dingo resembles two similar mesa predators, the dole and the coyote. The eyes are triangular, or almond-shaped, and are hazel to dark in color with dark rims. The ears are erect and occur high on the skull. The dingo's three main coat colors are described as being light ginger, or tan, black and tan, and creamy white. The ginger color ranges from a deep rust to a pale cream and can be found in 74% of dingoes. Often, small white markings are seen on the tip of the tail, the feet, and the chest, but with no large white patches. Some do not exhibit white tips. The black and tan dingoes possess a black coat with a tan muzzle, chest, belly, legs, and feet and can be found in 12% of dingoes. Solid white can be found in 2% of dingoes and solid black 1%. Coat colors with sable, ticking, or brindle indicate some hybridization and can be found in 12% of dingoes. Only three genes affect coat color in the dingo compared with nine genes in the domestic dog. The ginger color is dominant and carries the other three main colors, black, tan, and white. White dingoes breed true, and black and tan dingoes breed true. When these cross, the result is a sandy color. The coat is not oily, nor has have a dog-like odor. The dingo has a single coat in the tropical north of Australia and a double thick coat in the cold mountains of the south, the undercoat being a wolf grey colour. The dingo's tail is flattish, tapering after mid-length and does not curve over the back, but is carried low. Dingoes in the wild live three to five years with few living past seven to eight years. Some have been recorded living up to ten years. In captivity, they live for 14 to 16 years. One dingo has been recorded to live just under 20 years. Hybrids, distribution and habitat. The wolf-like canids are a group of large carnivores that are genetically closely related because their chromosomes number 78, therefore they can potentially interbreed to produce fertile hybrids. In the Australian wild there exist dingoes, feral dogs, and the crossings of these two, which produce dingo-dog hybrids. Most studies looking at the distribution of dingoes focus on the distribution of dingo-dog hybrids, instead. Dingoes occurred throughout mainland Australia before European settlement. They are not found in the fossil record of Tasmania, so they apparently arrived in Australia after Tasmania had separated from the mainland due to rising sea levels. The introduction of agriculture reduced dingo distribution, and by the early 1900s, large barrier fences, including the dingo fence, excluded them from the sheep grazing areas. Land clearance, poisoning, and trapping caused the extinction of the dingo and hybrids from most of their former range in southern Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, and South Australia. Today, they are absent from most of New South Wales, Victoria, the southeastern third of South Australia, and the southwestern tip of Western Australia. They are sparse in the eastern half of Western Australia and the adjoining areas of the Northern Territory and South Australia. They are regarded as common across the remainder of the continent. Thanks for watching.